Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Trendonomics by Hashtagship. Today I am going to discuss short term update on Nifty and Bank Nifty in terms of Elliott Waves and Price Action. But before that, if you are new to this channel and if you still haven't subscribed to this free YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe. Share with your friends, hit the bell icon. That's how we are going to receive a notification next time I post videos on stock market, Elliott Waves, Nifty, Bank Nifty, technical analysis. Go ahead, subscribe to this channel, share with your friends, like. You can also comment what on what stocks are in what indices you want analysis. I'll try to share my analysis on those. You can follow me on Twitter. I post a lot of videos on Twitter. This is my Twitter profile. I post a day to day stock market updates not just stock market updates but i post a lot of trading rules and trading psychology we had a wonderful webinar on 30th of august on price action if you wish to learn you can definitely access it by registering on this link so let's just discuss nifty so as discussed yesterday nifty has a resistance near 11,440, 11,440 to 11,430. That's the reason. And until it's below that, probably it will continue to go sideways. That was my yesterday's analysis. And as today, again on my Twitter profile, I said that yes, it's unable to go beyond 11,440. And again, went below 11,370 that's why we exited our longs and probably we are going for a down move so as discussed yesterday that probably we are now into wave 4 correction wave 4 out of wave 3 which started way back in may near 8800 we are into third wave which is subdividing as wave 1 wave 2 this is extended wave 3 from 9500 to 10, uh, 11800 and then we are into wave 4 correction so as wave 2 was a zigzag and a deep retracement retracement of 50 percent wave 4 tend to be shallow and more time consuming rather than just a price retracement so as discussed wave 4 may form a triangle and yes we are now watching this price action probably this is a triangle this is a wedge as per traditional technical analysis this is wedge formation as per Elliott waves this is diagonal formation diagonal is one kind of a triangle so Nifty is forming a triangle in diagonal. It's a diagonal triangle. And probably this is wave A, wave B, wave C down. And probably today's rally was wave D. This is a three wave rally and market again sold off. So probably we will have wave E down of this wedge formation, a diagonal. And then probably market will complete wave 4 and start rallying in wave 5. Wave 5 of wave 3. Wave 3 started at 8800 in May. Of which we are now in wave 4. Which is developing as diagonal. Once we break above this wedge, then we can definitely go long and expect higher targets of 12,000 to 12,500 as discussed yesterday. Until then, just wait until market is consolidating. One must avoid longs until market is consolidating with, within this wedge. And once we break about a breakout of this wedge, definitely we can go long for higher targets. The initial the initial signal for trend change will would be would come from 
a faster retracement above this above the previous swing high that is now at 11,433 today's high 11,437 so as as discussed the short term trend change occurs after market gives a faster retracement above the previous swing high today market failed to give a retracement a rally above uh, 11,453 which was previous swing high as of yesterday and now today's swing high is near 11,437 so as market breaks above this swing high then probably we can expect a trend reversal towards up and we can expect to rally so we'd wait until nifty develops this triangular uh, this wage and go long above once nifty breaks above this wedge let's look at bank nifty bank nifty is also lagging currently and it's in wave two correction probably this is wave one of three wave two now probably it may hit the lower end near 20,500 tomorrow and then probably it will start rallying so until bank nifty is below today's high that is 23,070 near 23,070 one must avoid longs once it breaks above it so as per traditional technical analysis trend reversal occurs once market breaks above the swing high so let bank if we break above today's high 23,070 then we can expect a rally or probably let the bank to break above this channel resistance which comes near which would again go inside with this swing high of 23,070 or maybe little higher at 23,100 or 100 to 150 once it breaks above it we can expect a rally in bank nifty bank nifty is given the breakout above this formation cup and handle formation this is a cup and handle formation bank nifty has given a breakout and again retesting so and it is at a channel support it has a channel support so until it holds above this channel we can expect my bank nifty to continue to rally but wait until it breaks above hourly moving average currently bank nifty is below hourly moving average resistance of 23,000 so wait until it breaks above hourly moving average and swing high then we can expect to rally similarly with nifty nifty is currently below hourly moving averages and consolidating so wait until nifty goes above the hourly moving averages and start trading above it then we can expect a rally as discussed in one of my videos that before every rally before every move there is always a consolidation like we saw a consolidation in may now in the uh, june early june and late june before every rally there is a consolidation and then there is a breakout rsi starts making higher highs in all the consolidation so let's see now here probably rsi has started making higher high so if tomorrow when market test uh this lower line of wedge if rsi does not break this line and makes a higher high then probably we can expect that it will give a reversal and when rsi start rsi breaks above this so this is a formation on rsi or nifty currently similar to this triangle uh, wedge this is also a triangle so if rsi moves above this then we can say that probably nifty will give a rally so watch the rsi on nifty tomorrow if it holds above this line and even if it 
makes a new low and RSI refuses to break below this line and starts rallying again. And as Nifty breaks out of the page, if RSI also breaks out of this triangle, then probably we are going to have a rally. So that's it. That's about my view on Nifty. If you like this video, you can share with your friends, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter. You can access the webinar registration. Register for and access it. It's just for 500. It's about price action trading. So you can definitely you will gain something out of that webinar. It's 3.5 hours webinar. I have discussed everything about price action what are the patterns i trade about rsi fibonacci candlesticks and a lot more so if you wish you can definitely access the webinar decision this is a signing off until we meet again